guys, today I wanted to bring you a video on hormonal acne, talking a little bit about it, but mainly about some of the signs that your acne may be hormonal, if you even have acne or if someone you know um, maybe does. Um, and we have to kind of look at what exactly is hormonal acne, and it is pretty much what it sounds like. It's your hormones fluctuating that causes a breakout. Um, but there is more to play than just hormones, and I'll kind of explain that. Um, we all have different hormones, testosterone, estrogen, all sorts of stuff, and men traditionally have more testosterone than women, and women generally have more estrogen than men. But women, we still have testosterone naturally, and men still have estrogen, along with all of these other um, different hormones that are inside of our body. Now, what causes acne is not having testosterone or having estrogen. It's either having too much or having sharp fluctuations of these. For instance, in someone who maybe does not have hormonal acne, their testosterone levels and estrogen levels will naturally do this just naturally, that's kind of how their body works. They're kind of balance each other out. Now, for someone who maybe is suffering from hormonal acne, um, in some situations, those balances may be going like this, and one will jump and one will dip, and they can't balance each other out very well, and it's very quick and very fast, and that causes irritation to the skin. Now, just having kind of out of whack hormones is not going to cause acne. Acne is also caused by bacteria, um, by oil, and by even dead skin cells and stuff that stays on your skin and kind of gets in there and irritates it. So when it comes to hormonal acne, it isn't just the hormones at play, but it's other things too. Um, and a lot of people who end up breaking out around their teenage years, whether it's hormonal acne as an adult or hormonal acne in puberty, it's usually due to some fluctuating hormones along with any bacteria that's building up on the skin along with oil and things like that. Um, and as far as these um, kind of warning signs that you may have hormonal acne, I got these from one of my lovely emails. You guys know that I'm, uh, I get a newsletter in my email from Acne Ease, which is the supplement that I was taking for my acne. Um, which I still have to order because I'm totally out of it. But um, they send like these emails that give a lot of great helpful tips. I can actually link you some other videos that have some of their tips in them. Um, so I'm just going to tell you kind of what this says um, in hopes that it might help you and maybe if you have hormonal acne, um, maybe these apply to you and maybe this can help you as well. Or someone you know. And it says that the primary culprit in the formation of acne relates to the fluctuations in androgens, which we've talked about before. Androgens are usually the hormones that are causing some of the acne. In particular, those hormones are testosterone, DHEAS, and DHT, um, which are male hormones that can kind of cause that. So it goes down to say, signs that your acne may be hormonally induced include Adult onset acne, for instance, breakouts that appear for the first time in adults. Um, if you were a teenager and you've never had any problem, you went through puberty, you went through you know everything, you were fine, maybe you had a breakout here and there, but it was never an issue, and all of a sudden you're getting these breakouts and you don't know what to do about them and things aren't working. Um, maybe you've noticed you've been more stressed for women, maybe it's menopause, um, or maybe you're just getting a little bit older and you're realizing that your skin is acting really different and it never did that as a teenager. Um, that could be an indication that your hormones are off. And also, hormones not only relate to acne, but they relate to mood swings, hormones relate to your appetite, hormones relate to your sleeping patterns and your stress levels. So if you notice that you feel tired all the time and you're not eating as much or you're overeating, that could also be a hint, along with the acne, that your hormones are a little bit out of balance. The second is for women. It says acne flare-ups preceding or at the same time of your menstrual cycle. Whether you're an adult or whether you're a teenager, um, maybe you break out a little bit more at the beginning, maybe you break out a little bit more at the end. For me, I have wretched breakouts right before that time comes. And then because of my medical condition, it lasts much longer. For instance, I've had them lasting two to three weeks since like half the month or almost the entire month. I'm sitting there like, seriously, this is what my life is going to throw at me. Like it's obnoxious. Um, whether your menstrual cycle is normal or whether it's completely out of whack like mine, hormones could definitely be a play in your acne if you notice you break out a little bit either before or after or during that time of the month. Um, and if that's when you notice your biggest breakouts, then that's a good indication that maybe it's something hormone related. The next is a history of irregular menstrual cycles indicating hormonal fluctuations. Um, for instance, this was definitely me. Um, same with my mom, but my mom has never had acne. She has never had a regular menstrual cycle. Hers have come at the beginning of the month, the end of the month, five days in between, 27 days, completely random. 
And I don't know if it's hormonal for me or if I inherited that from her because she's like never had a pimple in her entire life. Ever. I'm so jealous. She had like two on her wedding day. <laughs> oh boy. Um, which for me is just like, oh, I wish I could have been in your situation, mom. Like, why didn't I get those jeans from you? But she's never had those, but she's had these really irregular menstrual cycles. Now for me, I've had these irregular menstrual cycles all my life. They're crazy. You know, I've gone four months without having a menstrual cycle just because, and I've had others where I'm literally bleeding the entire month, like three weeks out of the month which is just crazy. So in my mom's case, that obviously isn't true. In my case, is it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but if you notice that you have some of these other signs and symptoms, and if you notice that your menstrual cycle is really irregular, that could be an indication that you do have an imbalance of hormones. If you have increased facial oiliness, for instance, more than usual, um, which is sebaceous glands over secreting. So if your skin is producing a lot more oil, you're a lot more oily. Sometimes that has to do with the seasons. For instance, in the winter, you get really dry, so your skin makes a lot more oil to kind of combat that. Or in the summer, you're sweating more. Don't confuse the sweat for oil. But if you notice that your oil is just, for some reason, all of a sudden going at it, it could be that these hormones in your body are changing, which causes more oil secretion. Um, a lot of hormonal changes will cause oil to just go blah. So if you notice this blah, and it's not like a weather change or something like that, it could very well be that your hormones and your pituitary gland is telling the oil glands in your skin to just create a lot more oil. If you have an excessive growth of hair or hair in unusual places, which is known to be induced by androgens, for instance, as a woman, we have hair here, we have hair here, we have hair in hairy places, but if you notice all of a sudden you're getting some hairs on your chest, um, maybe you're like growing a beard, which has happened to me before and happened to my mom before, before I got my hormones checked out. Um, if you notice that you're getting hairy here, if you're getting a hairy beard, if you're getting a mustache that you've never had before, because um, sometimes it's just genetic, but if this is something new um, or you're getting you know, hairy on your back or places that you've never experienced before, that could be caused by androgens, which is a male hormone. Um, for instance, if someone were to go through a gender change, if someone is a female and wants to become a male, they can take different steroids and different testosterone and androgens to become a man. And when they're doing that, you know, their voices drop, they start looking a little bit more manly and everything, but they also grow hair in these different areas. So if you are starting to grow hair in some places that you weren't expecting to grow hair or you didn't really want to grow hair, it could be that your hormones, specifically male hormones and androgens in your body are a little bit out of balance, which could also be causing the acne. Um, the very last thing is elevated levels of certain androgens in the bloodstream. And this could also, in my opinion, they don't say it on here, but in my opinion, it could also be in insulin um, because insulin um, is kind of a food related hormone but if you get your blood work done and there's a lot of extra androgens in there if there's androgens are also stress hormones so if you're under a ton more stress that can cause those androgens but if you have an elevated level of those that could definitely be causing hormonal acne um, or even if you have too much estrogen for instance I used to eat a lot of soy which I do believe kind of contributed to my acne Soy has a ton of estrogen in it, and estrogen is a female hormone, and when my estrogen is all off balance, my testosterone can't balance that out equally, and I believe that that caused a lot of my breakouts. That's why I don't eat soy or tofu anymore, but I love you guys. I hope that this helped you or helped someone who you know who may have hormonal acne. Um, you know, if you didn't know it, maybe this is some warning signs for you, but bottom line, just talk to your doctor. So again, this is from Acne Ease. This is from Dr. Agnes. Um, she's the one who wrote that up. I'm sure there are other signs as well. If you know any other signs, please Please tell me what they are but I'm just reading to you what she wrote in her little email newsletter and I'll also link that below um, and that's kind of why I was taking acne ease is because that's a way to combat these hormones through a pill um, hormones you know there's a whole bunch of things you can do for them usually you want to talk to your doctor I was using acne ease and I really really did like it and I saw a benefit and it was really in the oil of my skin so I don't know if it was hormonal I've had my hormones tested before I don't know if it was bacteria I still have acne I mean it's not gone but when I'm on acne ease and when I stay on it it definitely does help me. Um, so I would say that that's an option for hormonal acne. I know that's Chinese medicine, which can help with the hormones. Um, you know, depending on what kind of acne you have, whether it's hormonal, whether it's bacteria, whether it's oil, you do have to treat it differently. But don't give up and look into different treatment options um, because the different kinds of acne the different kind of cure or the way to approach it you know what I mean so anyways this video is long I will link everything that I read to you guys down in the bottom tab if you have any other information please share it with me and yeah really hope this helps and I cannot wait to talk to y'all soon
Love you guys. Bye.